I feel like for the most part, I am pretty transparent on this app with talking about Manjaro and my um, journey with Manjaro. Um, but I just want to come in today to talk a little bit more about in depth about some things that I'm experiencing. So I don't see a lot of people talk about it. And I know that I can't be the only one out here, right? But I am struggling to get out of the 175 range. Um, this today, this week is actually six weeks that I have, I actually weighed in March 6th at 175.4 or something, and now it's April, and yes, I went down a few pounds and went back up, so I'm still at the ones, today, you know, I'm still, I weighed in at 174 points something this morning, but for the most part, I am bouncing around with this 175. It feels like it thinks that this is my weight, set body weight. And so I am struggling to get out of the 175. So just trying to get out of the 175. So you guys have noticed I have stepped up my exercise. So, you know, when I say about being transparent is that I got caught up with the fact that <clears throat> Manjaro is such an amazing medication and that it was helping me reach goals that was I had never seen before, right? So me dropping weight and just dropping, you know, and I'm overall I'm down, you know, 28, 29 pounds. Super grateful for that, but it made me pretty much not count on anything else. Like just pretty much take my shot and wait for it to do its thing. Of course, the appetite is suppressed, so you're not eating like you were eating, but I can honestly say that, I, you know, even the workouts, I haven't, you know, I know I was working out, doing all the things before, and then I got to find out about Majaro, and it was like a quick fix. And so I think I can't be the only one that gets into the habit of thinking that the medicine can do it all by itself. It definitely, I have seen so many posts about that this is a tool. But now I know that <clears throat> this is definitely a tool that we are supposed to utilize. I know in all the um, trials and stuff, they said that they did a negative 500 calories and they did put in 18 hours a week of workout. And so I do see so many people, guys, listen, it's easy to get caught up with what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is, you know, I'm looking at the results and, you know, I'm just being transparent here. Yes, yeah, sometimes I look at those results and I'm like, wow, why can't I just lose weight like that? Like some people literally, every time I see a post, it's like negative, 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 subtract, 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 not one gain. And I was like, oh, I just wish I could get that. So overall, let's be clear. I'm, I love my the way I look. I love the results of my body. I feel like if I did lose another pound, I'm okay with the way I look. But I honestly, my goal is to get to 165. So I really have about a 160. So 10 to 15 pounds is what I need. So I you know, got caught up with, oh, let Manjaro do his thing, let Manjaro do it. So pretty much being lazy, I'm going to put that on me. And not that life isn't happening, right? So I'm working, I'm, I got all this stuff going on, I'm running a business, I'm trying to take care of my grandson. Things are happening in life. So it's not that I'm sitting on the couch, right? But life is happening. So to me, I have allowed my workout exercises and things like that to be placed on the back burner because I'm like, okay, I'm losing weight. I ain't really got to do too much, right? I pretty much can eat what I want and not worry about it. You know, I, I haven't changed anything that I eat, but I definitely not eating what I was eating. So um, I probably don't, I feel like I haven't been putting in the, uh, the water intake. I can't say that I focused on the protein. So I have to look at myself and wonder what am I doing that what am I not doing that could help me get to my next level? Maybe that's why I'm not seeing the results that I'm seeing. So I know that I'm a slow loser. Always have been, no doubt. But I know that I haven't put in what I need to put in to get the results that I need out. So this is why you guys are seeing. So this is why you see me now stepping up my exercise routine. I'm trying to share that with you guys. And that also keeps me accountable. So <clears throat> I'm going to really go hard. I'm going to start putting in the work. I'm going to start watching what I eat. I'm going to start. I thought about it too. It's like, you know, I've seen people say that sometimes you'd be surprised how much you're taking in or not taking in. I honestly don't know if I'm putting in enough calories. I'm going to also start looking at that as well. Just, just for a little while. I don't want to be obsessed with all that. I don't want me my transformation to be so f miserable i need it to be realistic i want to enjoy life so i'm not gonna say i'm going to deprive myself of anything but i just want to kind of get an idea of what i'm taking in in the day and what i'm maybe i'm that i can kind of fix you know so i need to look at how many calories i'm taking in overall so next week i'm going to really try to work on just writing down a little bit of what i'm eating and drinking and just to see what i'm taking in and make sure that i'm at least meeting those um, calorie goals because I don't know if I really am. Um, <clears throat> I did find myself last week or two snacking on little things. So 
yeah, I found myself um, maybe snacking a little bit more than normally, so I'm definitely cutting that out. You guys know I've been on the 12.5 milligrams. I did not have any results on that, so I decided to go back down to the 10. I don't know if that is a um, was a good choice, but I think the 10 is good. I just think that um, my body just is at a halt right now. But what I have decided is that I'm... I'm going, I have not had a break from the Manjaro, so another thing that I'm going to do this week is I'm due to have my injection on Tuesday. I've decided I'm going to push it out 10 days. I need to try to reset my body, right? So my goal is to step up my workout, watch, try to um, get in more water, and I'm going to push out my injection. I'm thinking at least 10 days, I may push it 14 days. I need to give my body a break from the Manjaro so I can get my body kick back into gear so that's where i'm at guys that's what i'm gonna do this is me holding myself accountable me stepping up my workout me knowing that i can't blame anybody else about my results and i can't compare my stuff and i can't compare my story to anybody else's as much as i know we all do it we all can try to pretend we don't we all do wonder why am i losing weight or why am i not losing weight but we do have to first look at the person in the mirror right to figure out what is it that I am not doing or could do better. So this is me doing that. Um, just stay tuned, guys. You know I share my journey. And I always try to be transparent with you guys. And I just want to, you know, come in and tell you guys that somebody out there is probably experiencing this. And that I am experiencing it. And it's real. The stall is real. I know when they say the stall is not a stall after a couple weeks. But this has literally been me March 6th weighing it at 175 and i'm now april 14th april 15th weighing it at 175 174 and down to 173 just that whole bouncing up and down so my goal is to get past this stall and i will and i'm determined to do that and you know i'm just want to let you guys know what my plan is and how i'm trying to you know move my body forward so so that's where i'm at today is saturday um april 15th you guys have a wonderful day and you know i'll be out and about you will see me anyway y'all guys have a good day